today we are talking to md and chairman of triple a technologies limited uh, mr anjay agarwal how are you sir today i am fine how are you i am fine thank yeah. you so we'll start with the interview yeah okay so please take us through your journey of growth triple uh, a technologies has been formed in october 2000 uh, 22 years ago at that time the competition was picking up so we thought that uh, uh, it's uh, there are various advantages of the comparison but there are also various risk also associated with the comparison so we thought that uh, besides the traditional audit there would be something of checking of the computer controls also so the risk can get minimized of the comparison and therefore we ventured into this area which is a niche area and we were the early starters into this area Triple A Technology is concentrated only on the services. We are specializing in a premier independent company uh, into the cyber security, IS audit, information security, and IT governance services for more than 22 plus years. Our mission is to secure the cyber assets of the nation and thereby ensuring a secured cyber space to live in by providing the accurate, reliable, and innovative services. So, what are the main highlights of the business? Uh, the uh, company has been growing. The industry has been growing. Uh, there is a research uh, from the Data Security Council of India, which is part of NESCOM. As per the estimate, the cyber security market, the whole, uh, including the products and the services, that is uh, going to grow at the CAGR of twenty one percent. And the market would be uh, US dollar 116 billion by the end of 2025. And in India, the market would be 13.6 billion dollars by 2025. Okay. How much growth you are looking for in the industry? The industry is going to grow uh, uh, as per the DSCI of 21%. Uh, the company has been going, uh, uh, achieving, uh, uh, surpassing the industry benchmark also. In September 22, uh, visa vis the September 21, the company has a growth of uh, 50% plus and a pet uh, growth of 124%. Okay, so tell us more about your certificates and awards. Uh, as far as the uh, company is concerned, the company is ISO 9001 certified to standard our internal processes. We have got the certification, and since we are dealing with a lot of confidential information for clients, we ourselves have got. ISO 27001 certified also. Uh, coming to my personal certification, presently I am having 25 certifications uh, from various countries specializing into the information security and the cyber security domain. In India, I have been a chartered accountant, cost accountant, company safety law. Uh, from US, I have been getting various certifications called CISA, Series, CGIT, LPT, CH. From UK, I have been getting ABCI and uh, so on. Okay, so how do you foresee the future? The future for the cyber security is uh, very bright. Uh, mainly uh, in India, there have been three reasons. One is the digital growth in the last eight to ten years, which has led to the uh, growth of the IT and the cyber security. The second is that uh, there is an increased uh, cyber security awareness because of the frauds which are happening nowadays. And again, uh, there is a stringent regulatory compliances which are happening on the uh, cyber security front. So all these three are leading to a uh, uh, substantial exponential growth of the cyber security in India. Okay, so how strong is your brand? Uh, AAA is a brand by itself. Uh, it signifies that uh, we are rendering the best of the services uh, to our clients and we benchmark against that. Uh, in this uh, industry, if you ask uh, AAA, uh, people know that uh, we are rendering these services. We are one of the few companies employed by uh, certain under the Ministry of uh, Electronics and Information Technology since 2005 till date on a continuous basis. And certain is a nodal, nodal agency for cyber security in India under the Information Technology Act. So, can you please put some light on uh, cyber frauds happening currently? Uh, cyber frauds will keep on happening. The, the magnitude will keep on happening, uh, but uh, what needs to be done is that to ensure that the cyber fraud gets uh, impact gets reduced, uh, continuous cyber security auditing needs to be done 
on a continuous basis so that the organization knows that what are the vulnerabilities and they can plug that vulnerabilities on time so that uh, cyber frauds can get reduced. Digital India will help the IT industry to grow and the cyber industry to grow exponentially. Okay. So any other information you would like to add? Uh, I would like to add that uh, people coming into this field, uh, they have to be trustworthy, they have to be honest and ethical to enter into this field and they should have a long term vision uh, in, uh, to be staying into this field. So what are the challenges? Challenges I think uh, uh, we are facing that uh, we need to keep up to date uh, with what is going on in the industry, what is going into the IT and uh, we need to keep updated to render the services effectively and rendering the quality services to our clients. Okay. Venu Gopalji, how are you sir? Fine. Venu Gopalji is Gold Time Director and CFO for AAA Technologies Limited and we are going to ask him a few questions. Please. So, yeah sir, we will start with that. Hmm. So, what are the expansion plans of the company? We are expanding, uh, we are expanding continuously in the sense because since the business is coming, and more and more places we have to work with. So we have already opened an office at Delhi. We are planning to office at other places where we'll be being in work opportunity. Say what happens, you know, if any particular government industry say Orisa, we may open an office over there in Assam also, it depends. Depends if we get a more work over there, if we need to perform from there, we will be opening office over there. But as such, you know, planning we do have. Okay. So how do you look at competition? Competition, as such, there is no competition. In the sense, competition is in a different way. You say in the tender, the competition may be there because what sort of work you have done. Competition is in that only. For the business, there is no competition because the work is so much that you know, you don't feel that there is a competition. It depends on your expertise and your other things. If you, but in our case, luckily we get good businesses because see, in our competition, you can see whether there is a competition for me or not. I am unable to understand in the sense, see if I work for one particular bank, they give me new type of work. It means they are satisfied with me. And plus, they give me continuously work. It means that you know they're satisfied, and there is no competition as such. I mean, for for industry as such, in all overall, there may be competition, but it's all right. It's fine. Everybody is having his bread, his cake. No issue. Right. So, how do you foresee the future in this uh, current digitization of India? It's big. You know, it's a very big story. Frankly speaking, if the India is growing, see whether India grows or do not. So long as the computer industry grows, so long the computerization is, and the, frankly speaking, there is a digital India. So everywhere there is a fear. There is a fear of you know whether you are secured or not. I mean, people feel whether my mobile is secured or not. Everybody is bothered about it, but they do not know how to go ahead. So since my business is a niche industry, people doesn't understand. They doesn't know that there is something like you know cyber security. But government understands. They have got so many voluminous business and other things. So that's why you know they are taking care of and so that's why are more and more tenders are coming and they are approaching to us and we are getting businesses. Okay. So what is the message for the investor? Message for the investors, I mean uh, investors always follow the future and in my industry there is a future and I think we are the first uh, only company who is listed in cyber security and we thought because of all these things because we wanted to have a transparency because transparency will give me business, it may give more alliance. So number of things are there and plus we feel you know right from the beginning I mean uh, we will always take care of our clients this is what I feel I mean recently we have issued a bonus also uh, two is to one the bonus was there we are regularly dividend paying company uh, no doubt we have got so much nice independent directors who are all qualified so we do decide in our audit committee we feel uh, business I mean dividend will be definitely continuing and there will be all advertising depends. Okay. So what are the highlights of your team? Highlights of the team that because we have got, see, there are different stages where I need people. So I got at all the level, we have got people. Will, someone will be prepared at the higher level, at the senior level. He will be preparing the things. Under his team, there are three, four people. Again, under that, one or two people are there. So, I mean, for me, my team and people are there, there since last 10 years also. So we have a very good team. My sales team is also good. So we are very happy with this and definitely we'll be expanding. And then what happens now? Uh, definitely there are new recruitments, some goes away because it is uh, you, all the investors are there. So in this industry, there is some turnout uh, with all the, uh, I mean, with all the organizations. But it doesn't make any difference. We give the training, my seniors make them understand. So it's a matter of just within uh, one month or two months, they get accommodated with the things and they do the business. Okay. 
Okay. It's very nice talking to you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.